Hi, Tim Bigham back again this week for Trace Exclusive and certainly a volatile week to say the least. We've had, you know, just big up and down gyrations. Uh, S&P's chopping back and forth around that 2000 level. And as we alluded to last week, I still continue to favor just selling out of the money call spreads here with implied volatility, you know, around 16 using the VIX as a surrogate to measure that. I think that uh, given the fact that uh, the economic numbers are continuing continuing to weaken, albeit uh, against a backdrop of more easing around the world, more free money, and it's kind of that yin and yang here, you know, fundamentals starting to deteriorate a little bit more, certainly overseas especially. Earnings coming out a little bit on the weak side, revenues especially as well, multiples near historic extremes on a comparative basis, but as always compared to where interest rates are at, you know, comparatively cheap, and that's really the argument here, you know, with uh, interest rates at near zero, how much do you pay for a dollar's worth of stock earnings? And, you know, with the Ford PE and the S&P, you know, poking towards that mid-16 level, historically rich, but comparatively against bonds, obviously not too expensive. So I think we'll continue to see this kind of back and forth action. So any kind of rally I'm selling out of the money call spreads, just the position about one standard deviation out of the money using a strip here looking out going four to six weeks out in time. Uh, also, I'm looking to be a lot more opportunistic rather than tactical on trading. Starting to use a lot of option scanning tools here to kind of give me an insight into what the option players are looking at in the market using RB uh, scanners, RB technologies, really identifying some nice flow out there. For example, in front of the BABA earnings two days prior to that, we saw some big call selling coming in. Obviously, the earnings were a big disappointment here as well. And then right before oil kind of bottomed out around that 4450 level, we saw some big put selling you know, on some of the USO, uh, some of the oil names. So I think uh, using uh, you know, some option scanning technologies here going forward to identify not only comparatively rich or cheap options uh, to position with, but also identify flows that can be sometimes smart money. So looking to be opportunistic rather than building big positions here. I think uh, this market probably will be chopping back and forth. And you know, the highs may be in for the year here around uh, you know that uh, 207 level on the SPY is about 3% higher from here. So until next week, this is Tim Bigham, and especially in this market environment, keep those position sizes in place and those stops going. Take care.